Hey, what's going on, everyone? I just wanted to give a quick review of Dub Turbo. Um, at the end of this review, I'm also going to show an example of what you can do with it, what kind of music you can make, and then I'm going to throw a tutorial on the end of that uh, to give you guys a, good, a pretty good idea of it. For those of you that don't know what Dub Turbo is, it's basically beat making software. Um, if you are familiar with it, maybe you didn't know they actually just released version 2.0, which is vastly improved from version 1. Um, I've been using Dub Turbo for a couple months, and I love it. I never had actually done any type of beat making or any musically inclined stuff before, um, but my roommate actually got it, and he started making like really sick uh, techno dubstep beats with it, and I want to learn how to do it, so I started doing it. Um, yeah, Dub Turbo is pretty awesome. I've uh, looked at a couple different other softwares out there, different free and paid ones. And I do have to say that there's no question about it, this one is the best. Um, I was basically a noob and I picked it up pretty quickly. So it's easy to use, but it's also got a lot of like crazy features. Um, my roommate who's using it is a very musically inclined person and he loves it. Um, so we got like somebody who's really good at music and a noob like me. Uh, we both enjoy it. So yeah, if I were to rate Dub Turbo, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Um, so yeah. Enjoy. Uh, you guys, if you guys want to check it out, just click the link in the description. And uh, here is an example of what you can do with it. Uh
vocals, which we'll go through in another video. So right here, we can just choose it with, let's say, R&B. Say we don't like it, choose R&B2. We don't like it, punches. There's also kits here that aren't just drums, but also fills, effects, like this one here, punches. Okay, so a bunch of wicked samples that have all been customized just for Duck Turbo. Nothing here has been scooped or taken from Google or anything. We made all these in-house, altered them, effect them, stereo imaged them, so all the drums are wicked. And it'll, it'll be easy for you guys to build the beats and make them sound really professional right from the start because you're working with wicked samples. So here, what we'll do is the same thing. These three buttons or uh, tools are the, the most important of this screen. You can change your tempo here too. You can turn your metronome on or off. It's universal, so if you do, click it on here. Or if you change the tempo here, let's see if we go down here. What you heard there was me pressing the keyboard and it triggered our sound. So that I'll point that out right now. One through 10 on your keyboard that you type on, okay, is So before you even lay anything down, you can kind of even turn your metronome on, let that play. One, two, three, four, just start. Once you figure out what you kind of want your beat to sound like, you can draw them in, or you can press record, play, and then record them with the keys on your keyboard. Um, just loop it once, let it go through once. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and here we go. stop it if you notice anything's out of place simply grab the arrow tool move it over if you don't like where something sits it's easy to move and if you want to erase anything simply grab your eraser erase pencil tool draw back in okay down here say we want the hi-hats right there is the label add a hi-hat if you want is change up this drum kit live. Say we want to see how this pattern sounds just with a different kit. Kind of sounds weird. Change that again. Sick. Nice and deep and dirty. Drum and bass. Okay. Let's go back to Dirty South. This one sounded nice. We'll close this up. We'll do the same thing on layer two. Okay. Drag your pen draw your pencil. Draw on two bars by clicking, holding, and dragging. Let go. Click back on your arrow tool. Click on the bars. Click edit. One thing I haven't shown you yet is this P. Before you even click edit, you can click P and it'll pull up the same kit source from here, here in a separate panel. So let's close that and this is what you'll get. So you can draw in your bars, click on it, then click P. Click whatever you want in advance and you already have your kit here. You can also change kits here. Okay, let's try it with this one. So again, we'll do this on the keyboard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now we can click on the bars, click edit, and see what we just laid. There's what we just laid live using the keyboard we used. If anything's out of whack, again, simply just snap them into place a few nodes or off. Now we have two layers of drums going over each other, which is really nice in Duck Turbo. You can change the volume of each here. So these 16 layers are all these 16 layers. Important to understand. Okay, so there's a quick two bar count. Lastly, I'm just going to quickly show you this. Change here by holding, selecting, say we put this to four, actually, let's make it eight. Right now we have two bars, right? So these are two bars. We can simply holding down the shift on your keyboard that you type on, hold down shift, click, hold, and drag, click, hold, and drag, click, hold, and drag. So if something isn't looping for you properly, right off the hop on those first two bars or first one bar even, simply extend it. Other ways that you can get it to loop properly if there's a little bit of a gap is change just by one tempo piece. And that seems to sometimes make the the loop snap into place properly. So here we have that same beat altered and 